Putani's name. My name is Richard Womo. Don't worry, I will keep my presentation in 15 minutes. <laughs> um, so I think first of all, I would like to take a one minute from my presentation and to um, to do a small exercise with uh, everybody sitting there because after lunch, maybe you feel a little bit drowsy. Um, is that okay? Okay. Um, so it's very easy. We just sit there. It's, uh, I think uh, I can. I have to stand here because my voice is very low. So we just sit there, and um, our jaw is um, directly um, connected to our hips. So we can um, first of all we kind of relax our hips. So we took our right hand and uh, touch our right jaw. And then we just like exercise the jaw. One, two, three. And then the left hand touch the left jaw and exercise the left jaw. One, two, three. And the second exercise is uh, the eyes. Our eyes are directly connected with our liver and a lot of internal organs. So we put the, our right hand, right finger in front and then we just look at the finger and we turn from the left to the right, make a circle and look at the finger. One, two, three. You can make a bigger circle if you can. Four. And then we turn the other side around anti-clockwise two times. One, two. Uh, when we do the like a clockwise exercise, it's we are working on our chi, long, prana. And when we do the anti-clockwise, so we are working on the uh, blood circulation. So the last one, last one is we put our hand at the back of our ears, and then we just push our ears forward like a folding the ears. We do three times. One, one, two, three. Okay, am I successfully making everybody's hair crazy? <laughs> so this is uh, like um, some kind of a lazy exercise, and I do every day, and it can uh, you know very efficient. So um, today my topic is about um, nutrition perspective on tantric Buddhist practice. I prepare a very short. Um, a very short presentation to talk about some uh, like a key concept and guidelines. But due to the limited timing, I think I I cannot finish my presentation. So. I will just like uh, focus on a few um, slides and to talk a little bit more. And if any anybody interested in my presentation, uh, you can ask a soft copy from Chimi. And there's no copyright, so please feel free to distribute to anybody you like. Um, so uh, in tradition, um, um, like uh, um, our uh, Vajrayana practice or Taoist practice or Indian yoga, we have like a Rasayana and the, the Dukdan or the Wai Dan, which is the path or alchemy, alchemy, al alchemy of uh, extracting life uh, sustaining essence as food. And the practitioner will take this special food to help them to like uh, purify and uh, strengthen and uh, transforming their um, physical and energy bodies and towards a more like uh, Eden body. Um, but however, this food are mostly um, like uh, derived from pure, very pure heavy metals, like uh, especially like uh, mercury and uh, gold. So in the history, we can see that the success rate of transforming the human body to a eaten body from this kind of food is pretty low, and because our human body, a lot of uh, in most cases are not strong enough to. Um, to be able to uh, um, support this kind of uh, heavy metal uh, uh, like poisoning food. So actually nowadays we uh, seldom see people are really practicing this kind of uh, tradition method of like how to change your body. 
uh, instead um, in our uh, um, like India yoga tradition or Vajrayana tantric practice or Taoist practice, um, they are, uh, have developed a, like a guideline and a, a system or some of the food um, to be taken in a more safe way to help us to um, purify or uh, enhance our health. Um, um, to support us to transform to a, a Eden body. So um, this is um, in here. I'm trying to um, share with you some of the like the key concept and knowledge that I have learned and I have been practicing myself and being effective to me. So I would just like to share with you. Um, so first of all, um, in terms of uh, food, um, before we attend alignment, we all need food, and uh, we need food to nutri uh, uh, um, nourish our spiritual body, our pran pranic body, like the lung, and also our physical body. So what is the food for our spiritual body? It's like we practice renunciation, we practice meditation on non-attachment, we practice meditation on compassion, um, um, dedication, uh, surrender to the to some higher um, um, like uh, power. Um, this is all the um, spiritual food that we need to be taken to keep our spiritual uh, body health healthy. And for the food for the prana body or the the, the body related to the lung or chi is like. You know, we try to stay with people that have positive energy instead of negative energy. So we can keep our positive energy like increase or not lost them. And also like um, we try to take a um, good and fresh and abundant uh, quantity of the air, like by like effect how to effectively take the air. Like uh, we practice uh, breathing exercise or we choose the environment, like we stay in the house with bigger window so we can get more air in, or we go more outdoor to connect with the nature, or we wear more like a natural fabric cloth. And actually, it's always good to wear a little bit less cloth than you need because then we, can, we will not block the air to contact with our skin because the air is not just coming in from our nose and mouth and all our pores of our skin are like um, taking in the air. Um, and the physical body food, which is pretty straightforward, but we, we all know that our spiritual food, our pranic food and physical food, they are all connected. If we eat junk food and we make our physical body ill, then we will make our pranic body ill. If we like a feed very poorly to our spiritual body, then it will cause illness in our pranic body and it will manifest as illness in our physical body. You know, um, for myself, um, I'm really like serious practicing like all this what I'm talking about. It's about um, maybe 10 years ago. And uh, I would like to share with you since 2006, I have never ever took any medicine, Western medicine, Chinese medicine, or Indian medicine, whatever. So to me, a daily practice of all this food I just mentioned is my everyday medicine. Um, okay, um, this this is like okay due to time limit, so I'm I'm kind of skipping all all, all these slides. Um, these are pretty straightforward, but you know we can go into more detail if we have time. So I would like to share with you this uh, Chinese meridian chart, which is I think many um, my Chinese friends, they are very familiar with. And so this is like, uh, according to Chinese meridian, and every day the 24 hours, and there's like a two um, hour are particularly, we have a one organ is particularly active. So from this chart, you can see that from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m., our lung organs are particularly active. So that's why practice um, like pranayama, breathing exercise in the morning, it will be most um, effective. And then you can see from this chart, from 5 a.m. to 11 a.m., 
this is all the digestive system and they are working. So that's why in uh, many um, like a monastery um, practice, there are three minutes. There are uh, like uh, the monks will take vows like a uh, uh, no no meal after noon. Actually, there's a very um, valid reason, health reason for that, because after 12 p.m. basically your digestive system is more like on the sleeping. Um, this is a, um, a slide of, uh, you, know, you know, based on the Vajrayana five chakra system that, uh, you know, in a month, uh, according to the lunar calendar, in a month of 30 days or 31 days, how the, the chakras of our body, um, they are like a functioning. And uh, also I put uh, next to that, I put a food color, which is more like, you can see the, like for example, the sacral chakra, which is more related to our like kidneys, bladders, <coughs> sex organs, adrenal glands. And the food, in, especially in black color or purple color, they are especially nutrition to these organs. So in this time, especially time of the month, and uh, if you are, you know, you like to particularly strengthen your, this particular like organs, and with the help of the chakras, like um, active in this time, you can take more of this kind of uh, color of the food. Or as a general practice, what I do is every day, I try to eat all this rainbow color of food. Um, okay, why not? Um, I think some of the points are pretty uh, straightforward, um, but I would like to especially mention about the chili spicy food because which is like it's a national favorite of Bhutan, and uh, this particular chili spicy food actually they have a full of uh, vitamins. But however, if you have overeating this food, what will happen is it will depleting your energy. And also, it will stimulate your lung system and your digestive system too much. So you know you don't really want to eat these three days, three meals a day. And I would really suggest all the lamas and anis and rinpoches to consider at least no chili in the morning. <laughs> uh, so and then the, about the meat, you know, like um, I think. Uh, Due to time limit, I don't want to give too much details, but basically, if you are a tilopa, and you can practice non-duality food, so you can eat everything. But before you are tilopa, and you will really want to consider, do not eat too much meat. And that's not just about compassion, but it also have a, like a, because the energy uh, food, they provide faster energy, but they are much, the vegetable food, they are much more pure in energy. For example, like a shrimp. The shrimp, they eat that body, they eat the insect, and they eat the facades. And then the fish eat the shrimp, and we eat the fish. So you think, you know, what are we eating at the end? So you really want to think about this kind of thing. But however, um, I would rather like, um, we would like to really propose that we all need to be conscious about our own body condition. And a person, if they are like weak, is really, we re need to rethink about to be a vegetarian. Because when the person body is weak, it's much difficult to um, um, obtain the energy from the vegetable uh, uh, food. So maybe you need to consider, maybe have a little bit meat in your diet. But if you uh, have a strong body and you are, you are a practitioner, then really strongly recommend you um, to be a vegetarian if it's possible. Of course, if like the Limbu Chase, they already have an eaten body, then it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, okay. One more minute, okay. Um, so this one, the five pungent vegetable in the, like, in the Mahayana practice, most of the, um, you know, we have these five pungent vegetable we try to get away. I think in Tibetan medicine, they also have that. And why we try to get away from them is because, um, firstly, because they are smelly. And uh, secondly, is because they will stimulate your heart and your brain. So it may, it will disturb, uh, cause some kind of disturbance in your meditation or in your practice. 
And also if you eat them in a cooked form, they could increase your sex drive. And if you eat them in a raw form, it could, it, they will increase your liver fire. So it's, it really recommend you like a ticket really in a moderate, or for myself, I, I don't take this. Um, over processed food, I think I'm time limit, so I'm not going to talk about more. GMO food, which I, I really, really suggest everybody try to stay away. So for example, what is the, the, the gene, gene, the insect into coin mostly to, to, to help the coin to avoid be eaten by the insect? It's scopio. So you eat the corn with the scopio gene, and if you're a vegetarian, you can think about. And if you eat the raw corn with scopio gene, um, like tomato, if you, um, like the most of the gene uh, they used to put into the uh, GMO tomato is from the rat. So in order for the tomatoes to have a longer shelf life. So I really try to stay away from this. So lastly, my time is up, so I cannot talk too much about this, but I have a list of like, a, I call the superfood, which I recommend um, you know, during my own, from my own experience. And it's a combination of Ayurveda, Chinese medicine, you know, my Vajrayana practice, or Western nutrition that I have learned in my past. Um, and uh, I have uh, some um, samples on the plate of some of the food maybe you are not uh, familiar with. So during the tea break, maybe you can uh, take a look if you're interested. So that's all, thank you. <laughs>